Menominee Alliance youth, welcome back to Kyle's Corner, episode two, Cleaning with Kyle. You're in for a treat today. I'm gonna help you with some cleaning tips to help around the house. So first off, what I forgot to do last week is we have to wash our hands, especially during this time of quarantine. So let's wash our hands. I got a timer for 25 seconds. We'll start that and uh, you turn the water on, get your hands nice and wet, get that soap on there. And something we like to do is we like to sing a little song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, there we go. And 25 seconds is done. And we're gonna wash off our hands. And there we go. Okay, cleaning tip number one. Um, a lot of times mom and dad are asking you to make your bed. I wanna show you Kyle's tips for making your bed. Uh, here we see a nice messy bed. First step number one is to clear off the bed of all the blankets. Get those blankets off, then we're gonna tidy up, pull the sheets up high, get the comforter up, tuck, 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 put the pillows on. Step two, put those pillows on. This is a wonderful, wonderful body pillow. All right, we need to make it look good here. And last step, last step. Make sure you fold those blankets ever so gently. Put those down. And you have a nicely made bed. Caspian, come here. Come on. Come up on the bed. Good boy. <laughs> so that Caspian can lay down. So you may be sitting here, hey, how's this going? I'm sorry, this is my friendly cow. Eat more chicken, take out variety. Um, you may be wondering, like, you made your bed, good job, mom wants you, dad wants you to vacuum. How do you vacuum? What do you do? All right, you find your vacuum in your house, um, ask your parents where that is, come along with me. You find your vacuum, you take it and you plug it in and you find the on switch. Be careful when you're plugging it in, kids. Safety first. Very gently, don't electrocute yourself, okay? That's very important. All right, now that we've got it plugged in, we're going to unravel the cord and, okay. Now, one thing we're gonna do is, it's gonna be a little loud here, so, we're gonna have a little bit of music going on, but what I want you to do is turn it on and then you're gonna vacuum the whole room. Here we go, ready? And go. Our vacuum's not working right. Turn it on and let's go. here. Notice the straight lines. Also, make sure kids, you don't hit your, your siblings with the vacuum as you're vacuuming. Ask them to politely move out of the way so that you can vacuum the room. All right, kids, next tip. We're going to learn how to mop floors. Uh, so mom and dad have told you, we need you to mop some floors. Make sure you choose hard surfaces and not carpet. That's, that's very essential. But during this time of quarantine, you may have noticed like there's not a lot of uh, supplies around for cleaning. You know, no TP, uh, toilet paper is not on the shelves. So it's hard to find essential cleaning supplies. So I have, uh, I have something for you to do. Here's what you do. We're gonna be creative. Uh, go and find your brothers and sisters old t-shirts, not new, old t-shirts, uh, go grab them out of the closet. You're gonna grab them, 
and you're gonna take it, uh, take the t-shirt, and you're going to cut strips in that t-shirt, okay? Okay, you're gonna cut strips in those old, old t-shirts. They need to be dirty and grimy for this to work. So go ahead and cut strips in that old, old t-shirt. All right, once you have the strips cut, you're going to fashion your mop. You're gonna take a stick like this, and you're gonna wrap your shirt around that stick really tightly. Then you're gonna find some duct tape, and you're gonna duct tape that t-shirt onto that stick really, really well, okay? So it's not gonna go anywhere, all right? And that's your mop, ladies and gentlemen, that's your mop. Now you're gonna go grab um, an old uh, pot and pan out of mom's closet as your, uh, your water basin. All right, kids, <laughs> honestly, I was just joking about the pan. Um, you're gonna get an old mop bucket and uh, please don't use mom and dad's pot and pan. I think they'd be a little bit mad with me. You're gonna take your uh, floor cleaner, uh, Mr. Clean, <laughs> any resemblance, kids? <laughs> you're gonna take Mr. Clean and you're going to uh, pour a little dab of it into your mop bucket. Hey, Keskin. Yeah. Just a little dab will do, all right? Now, you're going to put your mop in there, give it a little, Rinse, roux. Now, there might be a lot of water that comes out on the floor, but that's okay. We're approaching summertime, so it'll probably dry with time. You also can open up the windows and um, let it air dry out. Okay. All right. Now, make sure you rinse it really good in there. Get all the dirt out. And then really get the floors good. Come on over here. You want to get it really, really good. Really good in there. And not the floors really good now. Uh, I think I have a problem. Um, <laughs> here's a tip for you. If you're mopping, uh, don't knock yourself into a corner. <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna have to wait here for a few minutes. We'll catch you in a few minutes after this dries. All right, welcome back kids. I finally had the floors dried enough to uh, finish this uh, segment on cleaning with Kyle. I hope you're enjoying so far. Now you may have, it's springtime, moving in springtime, you may have dirty windows. Okay, and it's about that time when you want to clean the windows so you can see outside. So come with me, uh, let's uh, do some cleaning of the windows here. Now, what you could do to save time and energy is use your mop on the windows. Just kidding, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> that would be a mess, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, you know, you could try it. But you're gonna take your Windex and your paper towels, okay? You're gonna take these and you're gonna spray a little bit of Windex on the window, like that. And then you're gonna take, conserve, probably two uh, paper towels here. And you wanna just kind of do the wave, okay? Make sure you have some music going. Do the wave, like this, back and forth, all the way down the window. and. Might want to use the other one for the, the last half. Doing the wave back and forth. All right, say it with me. Let's do, do the wave. Do, do the wave. Do, do the wave. And this is also good if somebody's looking in your window, they think you're friendly during quarantine. This is awesome. Hey neighbors, how's it going? I <laughs> love it. All righty, and the window is clean and you can look outside and wave to your neighbors. Well, that's about all that I have for our Kyle's Corner today. 
I want to thank you for watching uh, Cleaning with Kyle. Hopefully you've learned a few tips today. I do want to give a shout out to my daughter Annika for filming. Way to go Annika, thank you. Um, a few announcements for you, just so you know, keep watching our YouTube channel here. Uh, obviously you're watching this on Tuesday. Uh, hopefully you've seen the videos from our leaders on Monday. And remember to watch us live at 3 p.m. on Wednesdays. I'd love to, you to join us at our Instagram channel, Manam underscore AY, or Menominee Alliance Student Ministries Facebook page. So hopefully you can join us on Wednesdays at 3. Have a great week. Miss you guys.